Hey everyone, this is Dorothea Taylor here, and I want to show you five of my favorite but most underrated rudiments used on the kit. Number one is the single Rademacue, and this is how it goes. Notice it says its own name, single Rademacue, single Rademacue. So keep in mind, most rudiments have an accent, and then the notes that are not accented are called unaccented or ghost notes. So you don't want everything to be loud on the single Rademan cue. You don't want it to sound like It's just not effective like that. So keep the drag nice and low. So as if you're saying it, single Rademan cue, single Rademan cue, you're accenting it. and just practice until you get it nice and clean. Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. Dorothea is a master of rudimental drumming and she has so much experience playing in drum corps. And if you want to learn more about this style of drumming and really how to apply rudiments to the drum set, you can click the link right below this video to start a free trial to Drumio, or you can click the link right here to check out all of her lessons and courses. So number two is Swiss Army triplets. And there's a flam. You're going to hold this down, tap, tap. So threes, one, two, three, which is a triplet. Flam, tap, tap, flam, tap, tap. So starting them slow, always start learning any rudiment that you're working on and then gradually build and build and build. And you want them at various speeds just because of different applications that you're going to be using. So practice, practice, practice. So let's take the army triplet and put it on the kit and let's just see what happens, okay? So number three, we have the double drag tap. And a lot of you will be like, why would you use that on a kit? So let's just see how cool it is. They alternate. So now let's try the double drag tap on the kit and let's just see what happens, okay? So number four, we have the drag paradiddle number one. And this is another one that most people think, I would never use that on the kit. But let's listen to it first. So it's a drag paradiddle, so there will be a drag within that. 
So I always call it drag and a pair of diddle, drag and a pair of diddle. So if you are learning it, say on the snare drum, this is the normal tempo that you use it with. But I'm gonna switch it up and I'm going to put it in a six eight feel. So listen how cool it sounds on the kit. So the fifth one, we have a hybrid rudiment called grandma's. And this is a lot of fun. And it is very easy. And it's a paradiddle with an accent in it. So pair a diddle accent. Pair a diddle tap, pair a diddle tap, pair a diddle tap, pair a diddle tap. And you notice all of my right taps are low. So clearly, you can see these five rudiments that I chose today, how you apply and how applicable they are to the kit. And guess what? There's a lot more rudiments to study. And so join me and I will have more and more rudiments for you to follow. All right. See you again. Bye-bye.